all right guys we are done with our user registration so the user we saved as you can see is over here we have our username email and password and i sort of forgot to encode the password so encoding the password just make sure that in case anyone enters your database the password field will be just a bunch of gibberish to them so they won't really be able to use the user information for anything so yeah we'll be working on the login section in this video so we'll build our login so a user can enter either a username or email and everything will work perfectly fine so let's get started we'll be using our auth package as usual so i'll replace this thing here with auth login so just as we did with the register so auth login and we'll need to tell login where to look for users of course ours is the users table so now this part takes in the parameters we want to use to log in so since we know this is an email we can just throw in email over here so email is the login key login underscore key and the password is the password right i won't encode the password because i didn't encode it when i was registering so i'll just keep it like this so i'll just copy this guy here and paste it down here so echo valid username i want to log in I'll replace email with username and a successful login is supposed to return a user which we can save in the user variable like this so outside this if else block I can write some simple validation like if not user or if user equals false then up response throw error and that would be auth errors like this but then if the user is found then we want to say up response throw no respond and we can throw in the user over here like this so we've set up everything we need so let's head over po to postman and see so auto login post login key so this is an email and let's check so we're supposed to see if yeah the user over here so id username email no password as usual and then a token so auth does everything for us so let's also try to log in with a username so I think this was the username I registered with and I'll scroll down and we get the same thing right so what if I pass in something which doesn't exist so maybe a wrong username for instance like this this time i get an error telling me incorrect credentials please check and try again so here we are looking at an error telling us that something is wrong the only hitch with this is it doesn't tell you exactly what's wrong so you won't know whether it's the username or the password so you'd have to actually check for yourself but then in some later videos after we look at the db package and a few other stuff we'll come back and learn how to actually check for ourselves whether the username is wrong or it's the password All right so with this we've actually successfully created a working login and registration system so with this username returned everything perfectly with our token which we'll be using for um verifying that the user is logged in
So before we finish up, I would like to encode my passwords now. So password encode and for the register side too. So I'll be using MD5, MD5, just a simple method like this. And it creates an MD5 hash of the password and saves it directly into this password field over here. So there is no problem, but you can use any encoding you want. You are not limited to MD5. You can use anything you want. I'm just using MD5 because of simplicity and yeah well yeah so if i save this now any user will register to have a, an encoded password and then that same encoded password is used to log in right so we have basic password security so with this we've successfully created the login and register so in the next tutorial i'll be looking at the leaf db package and how we can use it to get our notes, a particular note, edits our notes and stuff like that. So let's meet in the next tutorial.